Welcome. This is Extraordinary Attorney Wu Episode 4 Review and Talk. So, Episode 4, our Attorney Wu got a new case and it is the one of this on the strife of the three brothers. Yes. But before that, as a pursued episode three review to us, Young Wu was out. She gave up being a lawyer. You understand? Because of the she felt that she couldn't defend and be trusted as a lawyer. So she actually resigned her job from Han Bada Law Firm which her immediate boss, he refused to, you know, process it because he believed so much in her, in her intellect, in her compassion, in her humanity. So thank God that he didn't process it. Her fourth case, as we were saying, is about her best friend, actually, her dad. This best friend, it was revealed that they met in um, the high school when she um, rescued her from bull bullies in the high school where uh, she, they met each other. And I, I think I, I, her best friend is this hyper, hyper individual that always, always hyper in emotion. The lady is good. She loves um, Young Woon so very much. Now her family is facing this crisis because uh, her dad, two elder brothers, sought to defraud him because he is ignorant. He is not well educated. But, and they did, they succeeded in making him sign this gift agreement document because these two bro elder brothers, they went to university, they are now educated, they moved to the city, and this third brother that didn't go to school inherited their dad's farm because their dad was a farmer and he took care of it, he paid everything, everything, the dad just gave, willed the land to him. So the government wanted to use the land now and they then valued the land and they said they're going to give them 10 billion won. So the elder brother came, he lied to defraud the junior brother, he lied that oh, uh, that according to inheritance law, he you know that um, it's going to be shared based on seniority, him being the elders is going to take 50%, that is 5 billion won, the next is going to take 3 billion and he, uh, the last is going to take to him, that is him being the owner of the land. The one that inherited is going to take two billion. Assuming it's that that he's going to pay from the five billion, he's going he's going to settle all the taxes that and levies that's attached to everything they are going to do. But this guy did not keep to the part of his deal. Instead, the, is the person that bear the name that the tax collector came to, which is our, which is a uh, uh, young Wu's best friend dad, and he was the one that paid, leaving him with those two hundred and something million won, which is a big fraud. So the best friend brought it to Young Wu's notice and asked her for help. Young Wu initially disagreed to help her, stating that she is no longer an attorney. She referred her friend to her boss, who in turn refused to take the case. But the only way he agreed to take it is if she herself, Young Wu, is involved in it. If she becomes the lead counsel, he is going to just be there to support her in this case. Well, seeing that her boss was so stubborn about it, adamant about it, she had no choice because her friend's family finances depended on her. They are going to go bankrupt because of they are going to be the one paying the debt, the debt uh, tax and all those things that is going to heap and heap and keep heaping. They are going to ruin them. Jean Wu, on the other hand, was so glad that Jean Wu to see Young Wu again, Young Wu, our attorney, oh, because he missed her so much. You understand? Now he's feeling regretful how he treated her, how he put a boundary between them, and he regretted it a lot. He was so happy to team up with her again on this case. He, he is the one at last who made Young Wu has to believe in herself again. Her boss tried, truly he did, and at that, they also, he also tried, but it was Jung, Jun Wu who succeeded in making her to come to her senses and believe in herself. Who Hooray to that. Now, he is being true to himself. You know, not letting people, if you like someone, doesn't don't matter who they are or how they look like. Love is supposed to be given to someone that does not merit it. If you, if you give it to someone that merited it, it's not love. 
Love is for someone that does not merit it. Love, love is not for perfect people. It's for the imperfect. Despite, despite that, despite that, despite this, the lack of evidence, your wound thought deep because this case was wrought with lack of evidence. So our attorney thought deep because she had this gift of great insight. She was able to make a new evidence to win the case and it was very ingenious of her, I must add. The best part of all, the, her, all this was the three brothers finally reconciling, apologizing, reconciling to one another. It was a beautiful moment when the brother said, even the money is not my own, the inheritance is not my own. Why would I fight for it? After we pay all the taxes we need to pay, we are going to share it equally. Oh, that was a touching moment. Young Wu was able to come back to her career as an attorney, save her friend and the, her, the friend's family from collapsing. Awesome. Much, much fun. This episode, I must add, is on the lighter side and much fun after the highly emotionally filled episode three. So I read this episode nine out of ten. It is one of the best episodes so far. It is excellently executed by our lead actress. Anyhow, that is my opinion on it. So I want to hear from you. Your thoughts on episode 4. Please put it in the comment box below. Like, share and subscribe to this channel Joy and Victoria Talk. I remain true. Joy. Bye.